Hey everyone and welcome to July. I hope you got your seatbelts on and are running through your 4th of July prep because we are screaming hot. Great stuff in this month's edition of the newsletter thanks to Miss Julie Jukic who is our Gorilla Award recipient for the month of June. How's it going? Good. Yeah. You take I, time out of your busy day to uh, come participate to in this video? On, yeah, on this side for once. What's that like? Yeah. Normally you're on the other side, editing, making people look good. <laughs> I've actually never been on this side of the camera intentionally. So. Are you freaking out? No. No? No. <laughs> um, well, let's jump into it. Where are you from originally? I mean, we could go way back. I was born in Boston, but um, I'm from San Diego originally. That makes sense with an accent. Mm-hmm. Boston. We're just hearing you say Boston. Boston. But then San Diego. Random. I know. Yeah. We moved there when I was really little, though. My parents asked if we wanted to live by Mickey Mouse. And we're like, yeah. I was four. So I know. I was like, I mean, yeah. And San Diego is actually, I mean, closer than Boston to Disneyland, but not actually close to Disneyland. So a little bait and switch. But yeah. Yeah. We, it was a great place. Next door to Mickey Mouse. I mean, I think anything's going to be a disappointment at that point. Yeah. Is he in that house? No. But, oh, I would have totally told my kids, yes, he's just not home. Right yeah, now. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful there. I love San Diego. It's a great place to grow up. But as I got older and responsibilities and being a grown up, it is quite expensive yeah. to be somewhere beautiful. So we moved around a little bit, Northern California, and then ended up here. Right on. Well, mm -hmm. we're glad you did. Um, mm -hmm. So bouncing around, what all jobs did you have? Um, I mostly worked in restaurants. Um, my first job actually was in sales, um, selling little heating pads at a kiosk in the mall, and we had to memorize sales pitches for money. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so I would go... Can you I, recite one? Can you sell me? So, <laughs> um, we... <laughs> So I don't, this actually started my distrust of salespeople because these heating pads, like there were little ones and you like snap a disc and so there was one that you was really long. So I got 20 bucks for memorizing it and it was a whole thing about my mom having arthritis and like using the heating pad on her way to work <laughs> every morning. I use that one all the time. Programming I, you to live. That is yes. not what we, our sales team is feature and benefit based. Yes. Value matching. <laughs> there are no lies in our products. Yeah. Well, I learned if you have a product you stand behind, you don't have to memorize sales pitches to sell it. Oh, that's so right. there were, I mean, there was no, it was just a basic heating pad. So, um, but it was fun. I learned how to juggle there too. So that, wow. yeah. Skipping right ahead to something no one knows about you. Huh? <laughs> I know. But yeah, did that, worked in restaurants for 10 years, bartending, serving tables, supervising all of it, ran a winery for a while. What was that years. like? It was fun. Yeah? It was a lot of fun. It was small, family owned, 3,000 cases a year. Um, you know, I was the tasting room manager, but did, I mean, anything from helping with label approvals to direct to consumer shipping, getting permits. I mean, I did inventory, all of it. Um, that's what happens at small companies. <laughs> yeah, now you're doing inventory, you're doing label <laughs> approvals. You're doing, um, it's true. It was like the stepping stone, I guess. Oh, but that's great. Yeah, it was, um, it was a lot of fun. Well, now, you know, you're at Alabev. What's your favorite mm -hmm. thing about working for Alabev? The people, for sure. Yeah. Like the people that I work with are great. Um, the suppliers are wonderful. I like getting to know them too. I mean, I love I love beer, so it's fun to learn about it and then getting to meet the suppliers and talk to them about the product that they care a lot about. Um, I think that's a lot of fun, getting to do the Beer of the Week videos. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. That's good. I think you're right on the money with the people. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. you know, essentially what builds our culture is the, the people mm -hmm. within the company, and we've got some good ones for sure. Mm -hmm. Um how uh still nothing no nerves about being over here it, it's making me <laughs> uncomfortable because normally i've got a timekeeper somebody looking at the phone oh, yeah, and right. now there's just an That's empty true. desk behind the camera <laughs> so i'm freaking out a little bit but you're there's cool there's no one to stop it so right. we're just gonna record um well besides juggling what mm -hmm. is something no one knows about you oh <sighs> I don't know. I talk a lot, so we I'm not that. sure I've left a lot <laughs> to the imagination. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've played sports my whole life, played basketball since I was seven. So 
I did that was all I did for the longest time and then graduated high school and I still like to shoot around but don't do that as much I don't know I don't think there's really much people don't know about me we used to have a basketball goal here and uh, I'm glad we don't now because there's there's a lot of competition within the walls and I have a feeling (laughs) about 445 every afternoon there'd be a game of horse a game of 21 um, and based off our last basketball team, I, I cannot afford to have my face reworked again <laughs> by taking an elbow. Um, but I would like to see who the best basketball player is in the company. I think that'd be fair. Yeah, it might be a good way to blow off steam, too. Oh, I agree. People yeah. get, get frustrated with each other. Just take it to the court. Well, either that <laughs> or we suggested a punching bag and a baseball bat, which... yeah. You know, it doesn't sound like a good match, but it is. Oh, it feels good to hit that punching bag with a baseball. <laughs> with a bat. Yeah, don't don't judge me. Um, <laughs> if you could go anywhere in the world, one free ticket, hotel, accommodations, whatever, where where would it be? It would, and I'm not saying this to suck up to Harry, but it would be Greece. Oh yeah. I've always wanted to go to Greece. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I love food, and Greek food is some of my favorite. That actually was in my job experience too my very first job actually was at a greek restaurant did you do the greek food festival have you been here i got yes i was here yeah the food was so good miss helen likes to bring me greek cookies oh that's where all the greek cookies go yes um well everyone share uh your appreciation with julie she she really does a tremendous job and um really the grease between the gears a lot of times some of her work goes unnoticed. Um, a lot of it is noticed, but one of the hardest working people in the company. I, I am thankful. I know you guys are, um, but stop by and say, Hey, and how much, let her know how much you appreciate her. I hope you have a great July and, uh, Julie, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.